Okay, now we're going to start sewing. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, just for, uh, for beginners, is uh, we're going to make sure that we get these threads in the right place. The top thread is done, your bobbin's in, your bobbin case is in, everything's good. Uh, we're going to just turn the hand wheel slightly, and we're going to just hold this top thread until the bottom thread comes up. Here comes the bobbin thread. So if I lift the presser foot here, there's a lever on top, and if I take uh, my scissors and just swipe across, and here is your bobbin thread. It's out of the way. Here's your top thread. Uh, and sometimes people like, and it, and it makes sense, sometimes for the top thread to go through the bottom of the foot. It's not necessary to do that. The only thing is if, you're, if this thread doesn't go through the center foot, then you just need to hold, hold tight to it when you start off. So now your bobbin thread's out of the way, your top thread's out of the way. We're going to put some material in. We haven't adjusted the tension yet, but we're going to do that now. And we're going to start with just a thin layer of material. Uh, one ply, slide our plate back in. Uh, try to get this pushed back in all the way if we can. And, uh, and then we're going to let our presser foot down. Holding the top thread, very important. Hold the top thread for the first stitch or two. Because if you don't hold this top thread, it can jam the machine. So once a couple stitches are made, and again, this is the beginner step of how to operate. We'll cut the top thread. We've got the bottom thread. We can always come back and trim it. So now that we're clear, and if you just do it by hand a few times, it makes it more comfortable. And when you get to the point where you think you're good, we're gonna start sewing. And we'll just sew a little bit to a certain point. Now we're gonna take a very close look at the stitch. And this is very important to take a look. So there is a, there's a knot that creates in between the stitch links. Now I have the stitch regulator set at the wide open stitch to set the stitches, uh, the tensions. So now I'm looking at the top I can't see the bottom at all. I can't see that the bobbin's pulling up. I look on the bottom and now I can see a little knots. I can see some stuff on the bottom, which tells me I gotta put more tension on the top. So I'm gonna put a little more tension on the top. Don't, don't be so concerned about the numbers at the beginning. You'll learn what those numbers mean over time. But get, get it started again. We're gonna sew a little bit more. Now we're gonna look at our stitches and we're gonna start seeing some difference in the stitch look once we get the tension set right. Now I'm starting to see a little bit of a knot coming up and the bottom is still a little bit, so I'm gonna put a little more tension on. So now we've just balanced out. We balanced out the top tension and the bottom tension and we've got a nice, nice form stitch there, maybe just a little bit less. Now obviously as we're sewing along and we're on one layer of material, and we want to change over to two layers of material. It may adjust your, you may want to have to adjust your tension one more time, the thicker the material, because the knot changes in its position. Once you get it set pretty close, changing from two plies to three plies are pretty much there. So let's run it and see what it looks like at two plies. We'll take a look at it. And what a beautiful stitch that is. A little bit tighter on the top and a nice stitch. Now that's a little long for my tasting, so to adjust your stitch length, we just loosen this knob here, and we're gonna bring this down, and we're gonna kinda tighten it up to a certain point, snug it up real good, and uh, you might wanna measure that, usually five or six stitches per inch is where you wanna be at. So we're gonna lift this just a little more, and we'll see where that stitch length looks like. Beautiful. Beautiful stitch. Perfect on the top, perfect on the bottom, maybe just a little touch. A little bit of adjustment. Use your scrap material when you get started to get your tension set right. And now once you've got this set, when you push down on this lever all the way, it's gonna throw in reverse. It's gonna come back to where you've got it at. And so we're gonna start off. We're gonna put it in reverse. Here's forward and reverse. As the machine is new, there's a lot of things that's quite tight on the machine. Uh, the, the, uh, the reverse is a little bit tight until it gets broken in, but that's fine. Just get used to pushing it down or holding it up. And we're gonna now insert some pieces on top of this. Back in reverse. Now 
Let's make that stitch just a little bit longer. Put it about right there. And we're going to insert some more pieces. Cut us another small piece off and do a little top stitching for you. Make sure this. Make sure your clutch is engaged on the side here. There's a uh, there's a dial that you turn that you can uh, do for your bobble winder. Make sure that's done properly. And now we want to do just a little bit of edge top stitching. Let's get it started here. Just fold it over. Oh yeah, that's quite easy there. Just to do a nice little edge stitch there if you want to do. Cut that off. Come back and top stitch it again. Press your foot, turn the hand wheel up so that it clears around the bobbin case. You can fill it and just pull it out long enough you have enough thread there. Cut it off and practice and you'll make a nice stitch. Mine's a little bit off, but uh, I think you get the idea of its capabilities in sewing. Uh, so uh, there you go.